What's up, Sin Squad? My name is Sinclair, and welcome to or welcome back to my channel. So today's video is brought to you by Lieben Hair Store, and they sent me two wig heads, but one is poly and one is cork. So there's two different types of canvas wig heads, and I'm just gonna be sharing like the differences between the two and basically help you guys find which one is right for you. If you're interested, just keep on watching. So the wig heads come in a bag like this. It has the brand's name on it and everything. It also comes with like a table clamp to put your wig head on and a little baggie that has T-pins and little combs to sew into your wig. So if you get this, if you order one of these wig heads, like you're going to get this with it. So yeah, that's good for beginners. One is the poly wig head and one is the cork wig head. And I got them each in 22 inches. And there's a distinct difference between both of these wig heads. So yeah, we're just going to get into this. <laughs> We're going to start with the poly head. So the poly head looks like this, right here. This is the poly head in 22 inches. So the poly head is more lightweight than the cork head. The cork head is the one that most people use. Like the cork head has like a little slope in the head and it's heavier. So I took notes. <laughs> First of all, I took notes. The lighter weight wig head is going to work better with the table clamp rather than the heavy one because it's going to move around a little bit. And especially, I haven't found a wig head stand that doesn't move around. I have two that I paid way too much money for and the thing that the wig stands on, it moves around too much. So yeah, with the lighter wig head, you'll probably get less movement with your wig stand if that's what you're using it for. And this is a bit cheaper than the cork wig head, but not too much cheaper. But it is slight, slightly cheaper, but they're still in the same price range, low key. So, but if you're a beginner, I would probably suggest this wig head. But between the two, the wig heads I already have have this shape, which is the shape of the cork ones. But the poly wig heads have like a weirder shape to it. Like it kind of reminds me of like a thumb. Have you guys ever seen Spy Kids with those thumb people? That's the vibe I'm getting from this. Like the shape of your head is going to play a role in whether this wig head would be good for you or not. I have a peanut head, so personally I feel like this shape of a wig head is more my speed rather than this one. Like honestly, I'm probably going to use this to style my wigs on rather than actually make my wigs on because I don't trust the shape of the head. And oh, I just dropped it. Hold on. Even though this is going to last longer than the poly wig head, it has a few more cons than the poly wig head. Like the shape, I like the shape, and I like the fact that it's going to last longer. But it's heavy. Because it's heavy, it tips over on my wig stand constantly, like all the time. It's so annoying. Anytime I'm making a wig, it, tip, it tips over because cause the wig head I usually make my wigs on is this shape, and it's also cork, and... Yeah, it just tips over all the time. It's very heavy. Another thing is getting it wet. If you try to dry your wig on one of these, nine times out of 10, like your wig head is gonna start molding. Like it's gonna hold the moisture in and you're gonna get mold in your wig head. But with this, you can get this wet and you can wash this and it won't mold over. I feel like the cork wig heads require a lot more maintenance and a lot more care than this to make it last. If you're careless with your wig heads, I would pass on this and I would get this one instead because the way that I handle wig heads, this one would get its full use because it wouldn't last as long as it's supposed to because I'm very careless with my wig heads. Like I dry my wigs on my canvas heads and everything so I think I'm going to start using this canvas head to dry my wigs on and to dye them and all that other good stuff because I can get this wet and it won't be a problem. And the poly wig head holds pins just as well as the cork wig head would so you don't have to worry about that because with styrofoam heads like you can only put the pins in so many times before it starts breaking down it doesn't want to hold pins and this is stronger than styrofoam but it's about the same weight so yeah if you're a beginner I would recommend this wig head and if you have a peanut shaped head I would recommend this one even though you can stretch out the wig cap down the neck of this of this wig head to get it to like fully stretch out I would still prefer this one now if they make this in the shape of this we'd be in business I never buy another cork head again because it'll be lightweight and the perfect shape for my head but yeah I feel like this is best for beginners and this is for those of you who are pretty advanced and know what you're doing and why you really need this <laughs> if you got anything from this video 
hit like and comment down below and let me know what type of wig head you have or what type of wig head you're thinking about purchasing and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button to be notified for my next upload and hopefully I will see you guys in my next video thank you guys so much for watching and yeah have a great week bye